so i'm continuing with the next data frame function after filter and where let me use drop okay drop very simple suppose if i want only few columns to display you can i can use select i can use select but if there is a long columns like if you have 20 30 columns and if you want to drop three four columns then you can use drop data frame function so if you want to run help on drop so you can write help and say data frame dot drop and just run this so you can see here drop allows multiple columns you can see star columns so it your columns can be of a string type or it can be a column type object like you can use call function for that so you can pass on one column or you can pass on the multiple columns also so let me use drop here on this data frame function suppose i don't want a description from that data frame so i'll say data frame dot drop and i'll just put in a string the name of the column that is description let me copy this and paste it here okay let me execute so just now we have seen a transformation is done but there is no act there is no result we need to take an action that is dot show and execute this now you can see beautifully there is no there is no description column in your data frame or what you can do you can just take a display function to give a html format like a table now you can see that in a table so there is no description column so if you want to drop two three columns at a time you can do that similarly just by adding a comma and putting a column name here and proceeding further very simple okay so two columns will be dropped from that so you can take a column type like this sorry string type or you can take a column type so to take a column type you need to first import the function from PySpark SQL functions PySpark dot SQL dot functions import all okay let me import or let me import call function so you can use in this way also let me write call and execute this yeah now you can see with the same column type function call uh, i have closed the bracket and display you can see the column has been dropped so this is how the drop data frame function works